This uh, young lady is a 46-year-old uh, Parkinson patient. We are just uh, beginning treatment on today. She presents uh, with a diagnosis from National Institutes of Health and the University of Maryland uh, from the neurology department uh, of uh, past uh, medical importance is uh, that she's had several previous surgeries with uh, uh, intubation with tubes down her throat twice which means her mandible is hyperextended. She's had much dental work done and uh, could not shut her mouth after two crowns were placed on her lower left side uh, which should be an indication that her temporal mandibular joint was dislocated. She has been unable to uh, open her mouth widely after previous dental appointments. She gives a history of having had four bicuspids extracted uh, in conjunction with orthodontic treatment as a teenager. She's had uh, four hernia operations, ankle surgery, lots of sinus infections, terrible migraines, uh, most of her adult life. Uh, vertigo, right hand tightness, right hand tremor, uh, which is constant, which started two years ago in her right shoulder. Uh, she has a wandering right eye due to a paralyzed right eye muscle. Uh, she's had surgery uh, for that right eye muscle at uh, age 18. Uh, right now she has balance problems, throat problems, her throat shuts. Uh, that is usually because the mandible is posteriorized subsequent to a temporal mandibular joint dislocation. Uh, when she extends her head backwards, it, it uh, causes her uh, fainting. Uh, she has uh, very loose joints. Uh, from uh, Dietz syndrome, which is uh, similar to Marfan syndrome. Uh, she has daytime clenching during her, her whole life, left retroorbital pain, uh, photophobia, uh, which is, uh, appears to be getting worse. To me, that's an indication of an uh, internal derangement of the temporal mandibular joints. She's got vertigo, tinnitus, a bilateral ear stuffiness, uh, left and right face pain, worse on the left side, left and right cheek pain, worse on the left side. Uh, crepitus in both temporal mandibular joints on protrusion and mouth opening, worse on the left side. Um, locking in the left and right temporal mandibular joints, painful to chew food, painful to chew gum, difficulty swallowing, constant sore throat for the past two years feeling of a constant uh, foreign object in the throat in the front for the past two years, which to me is an indication of that the mandible is posteriorly positioned. She's got left and right suboccipital pain, difficulty turning the head left and right, uh, left and right neck pain, stiff necks, left and right shoulder pain, and uh, cervical crepitus upon movement of the head. Uh, when she opens her mouth, uh, she can open just uh, uh, 33 millimeters when we measure her. This is her maximum inner incisal opening today of 30 millimeters, 31 millimeters. Normal is 50 millimeters. This is a dead giveaway that she has an internally deranged temporal mandibular joint on one or both sides. You can see that when she bites down, she has a 50% overbite, uh, which is way too deep. Normal overbite is about 5%. We are going to begin her treatment by placing in this lower appliance today. And when we place it in, it eliminates this overbite. Bite down, see? and creates an open bite where her teeth do not overlap. This prevents her from biting all the way down and compressing the tissues of the temporal mandibular joint and keeps her uh, uh, 
it alleviates the pressure over mandible or the condyles over mandible from digging into the base of her skull. And she's going to wear this 24 7. That means she's going to eat with it, sleep with it, and wear it with, in all modes of function. The MRR report taken through the left and right mandibular joints states that the right temporomandibular joint disc is medially displaced in both the open and the closed mouth positions. And in the left temporomandibular joint, there is anterior and lateral displacement of the left temporomandibular joint disc. This test was never performed by any other previous healthcare provider. No one had taken the time to request this information. This patient returns after having had her appliance for six days. She wore it consistently for the first four days and then developed a sore on her tongue from the appliance and did not wear it uh, consistently for the last two days. But she's going to tell you the improvement she experienced during the first four days where she had it, uh, beginning with the, the improvement in your sleep. Yeah, I slept better for two, two of the four days. I had a great night's sleep that I haven't had in a long time. Okay. Then what else uh, happened? Um, my throat is much clearer. I don't have a lump in my throat anymore for the last week. So you opened up and you were able to breathe better, right? Yeah, I, I think I could, I think I felt like I could breathe better, but I just didn't feel the lump in my throat anymore when I swallowed. Okay. What else? And the, the other thing I noticed was the no tingling in my extremities, which I've been feeling for a long, long time. Excellent. Any change in the headaches? I have not had a headache in the last week. Okay. Uh, uh, that's an improvement. Could you? Yeah, that is. I, you know, sometimes I have dull headaches, sometimes I have bad headaches. I haven't had either. Okay. Last week. Because you have them constantly. Uh, any change in the vertigo? No. The right hand tightness and tremors? One day, the second day I had the appliance in my right hand felt much calmer, tr less tremors and less tightness, but that oh. came back again. It, it's been up and down over the last four days. Okay. You notice any changes in the stuffiness in the ear, particularly the left ear? No stuffiness in my ears. That's good. Uh, and usually I notice that when I wake up, and I haven't noticed that. And the uh, tinnitus? No ringing in my ears. No. I have not noticed any. Oh, okay. Okay, the pain on the left side of the face, particularly the left cheek? I don't notice it at all. Okay, and difficulty swallowing? No. Uh, the feeling of a constant sore throat? That went away. Okay. Pain at the base of your skull in the back on the left and the right sides where it joins your neck? My neck has been a little stiff, so I, I haven't noticed a difference there yet. Okay. The shoulder pain? Again, I, I have noticed shoulder pain, but I think some of it is the cold weather. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good uh, improvement for six days, uh, particularly uh, with the uh, not constant wear of the appliance, so uh, that gives us great hope. Uh, let us see you in the next uh, eight to ten days for another checkup, okay? Okay. Just try and wear it more and more constantly. Yes. The more constant you wear it, the better you're going to respond. Okay. Okay, this patient returns after wearing the appliance for a total of 14 days. Uh, this is over the Christmas season that's been ve very hectic, uh, so there has not been very much improvement. The uh, improvement in her throat has been uh, holding, that's been stable. Her, her sleep improvement has been holding. Uh, what else uh, did we I think the sleep and the throat are the two things that have been a big improvement. Painful chewing. Has there been any change in that? No, it has not been painful chewing. No. Oh, well, that's an improvement. Right. And that's uh, difficulty swallowing. That's gotten better. Uh, 
feeling of a constant sore throat for the past year. And that's gone. Two years. And Two. that's gone. That's gone. Okay. Feeling of a foreign object in the throat. That's gone. Uh, pain at the base of your skull where it joins your neck. Uh, I've still had neck pain. Okay. Uh, difficulty turning your head left and right. Any change there? No, about the same. Shoulder pain? About the same. Okay. Okay, we're going to adjust the patient's appliance today by increasing the height, and then we'll see her probably in a week from now and see what changes have occurred then. Okay, the patient returns after eight days since her last appointment uh, and she's going to give you an update uh, of what's been happening since then. Okay. Well, I think my symptoms when I left the office were significantly better. Um, for two days my hand was much less stiff than it was. Um, when someone asked me to peel a clementine, I used my right hand, which is my significantly affected hand, and I was shocked that I was even using it, and I peeled the clementine with no problem. Um, and I had I have some pulling in the back of my legs, which have been there for two years, and that's decreased. And um, I think that's about it that I've noticed different, okay. which I think is significant.